Hey friends, I hope you're having a great day today. I'm excited because I love painting daisies. This reference photo is on unsplash.com. I'll link it in this video's description. You can also search for plenty more. Um, you don't have to use just this one. I'm going to paint it on a little 8x8 cradled wood panel and I think it's going to be a blast. Let's get started. Okay, let's set the table. So here's the eight inch by eight inch cradled, oh, excuse me, wood panel. It's from US Art Supply. There's a link in this video or in plenty of my other videos descriptions. I really like these, they're nice. I'm liking painting on wood if you want a little less texture. Um, the cotton canvas is wonderful, but it, it leaves a little canvas texture. I uh, gessoed it a couple days ago with clear gesso from Liquitex. And I'm going to use pretty much primary colors. This is Thalo Blue Green Shade. Here, give you a look. They're all Liquitex. Cad Yellow Medium Hue. I'm going to put out in a little bit Quinacridone Magenta. I've got Titanium White. I also buy, some of these I buy also buy in the heavy body. And I'm gonna, I think I'm probably gonna put out some Mars Black. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is this is an aqua green. Actually, it looks a little greener than I want. I might put a little more phthalo blue in it. And I'm gonna use phthalo blue, a kind of an aqua color for the sky, just because it's fun. Sometimes I'll use bright aqua green. That's a pretty color. It's also lighter. I'll clean off my palette knife here. And I'll grab the bright aqua green for you to see. What's nice is I might so I can move a little bit and you can still hear me. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And you guys bought a light. Um, people who have sent money to support the channel here, I'll turn it off. I think that's gonna, you can just see it better, plus it'll help with some of the other shadows. Here's bright aqua green. Um, I really like Liquitex and their basics are really nice. It's a student grade paint, but boy, I think it's well pigmented. I get great colors with it and it's not as expensive. So you guys can let me know what you think if you use Liquitex. Oh, I also like, I haven't mentioned this in quite a long time, that it can sit on their caps. So I can just store it on a shelf. Okay. Back to business. Let's grab a brush. Oh, I'm gonna just grab a one inch filbert from Royal and Langnickel. I have a link to their store in this video's description if that interests you. I'm just gonna get some paint down. Let's grab some white. I wanna see what color this is. That still might be a little green. Oh, I wrote the word love on with a a new pastel from Prismacolor. I like them because they're a little harder. Uh, the Hippie Crafter pastels I have linked in this video's description. Um, they're also on the harder side, so you don't get as much dust. I'm gonna do, I don't think I'm gonna have that much sky um, in this daisy painting. So I'm just gonna do sort of my back and forth sweeping. I can link, I've got a video description or video on how to paint a simple sky. I'll link that in this video's description. You guys might like it. One thing nice about the wood, you could paint it white first or it kind of warms up your painting. I like that. So that's pretty much all I think I need for sky. I think I'm going to have daisies coming up pretty high. Just adding a little more aqua to see if I like it. So one thing to think about is um, how dark do you want your sky? Because you're gonna, I'm gonna paint white daisies. So I think my sky is getting too dark here. Well, you could have it pretty dark. I also paint on the sides when, when you're off camera. 
I paint the sides. I don't frame my work. People like different kinds of frames. If they want to frame it, they can do that. Sometimes a frame will sell a painting and sometimes they won't like the frame and it won't sell the painting. Okay, I almost kind of need to look around my phone here. See what we've got going on. It's gonna dry a little darker, which is why I just added some white. I think we're gonna call that good. Okay, I'm gonna time lapse the rest and paint the sides and I'll be back in a bit. So what am I up to? First, I've got a pretty ocean scene. You could, um, I'm looking for a, a ruler. <laughs> you could put in a horizon line, some waves. I should paint a wave. I've never painted a wave. I should do that sometime. Um, or just put a sea turtle on there. Isn't that pretty? Uh, thalo blue, you could do it with thalo blue too. You don't have to have the green shade because it just add more yellow. I didn't need to add as much yellow. Okay, um, painted the sides, which I think I mentioned I would do. Okay, so then I put out Quinacridone Magenta and Mars Black, and then I time-lapsed how I made the brown, the orange, and then this green, I'll just say it, is Cad Yellow and uh, a little bit of Mars Black. This green is Thalo Blue Green Shade and cad yellow. And then I drew with a uh, general's white charcoal pencil where I think I want my some at least some of my daisies to go. I'm going to load it up with daisies. I'll probably put a little bee in there. But I may end up having to redraw them because I'm going to put in I'm going to use I think I'm going to use I think this this is a half inch flat brush from Michaels. Came in a pack of a couple of brushes. It's in the art aisle. Whereas I use these sometimes, these are in the craft aisle. Um, I'm gonna put in some grasses. We're gonna be pretty up close. Sort of like, I'm looking at one of my past daisy paintings. Sort of like this one, but more loaded and less sky. We gotta get some dirt in there too. There's, can you see the, there's some nice pink browns. I'm not too worried about where the dirt is since I didn't put it in first. I think we might do more up and down. I wonder if I have that one. Oh, here. I do, I do, you guys. We might do more up and down like this one, but less sky. I think we'll do that. I'll link this. I'll link those, some daisy videos in this video's description. Okay, I'm gonna paint some up and down grasses. You could practice on a piece of paper, so you're using the skinny edge. Well, here, let's put one in. Grab a little water. Oh, and I'm probably going to need a little, little white. My colors are transparent. Well, the black isn't, so that would help. But the yellow is semi-transparent. Just kind of flick up. You can go this way too. You can go down. And that's about how fast I paint them, even slower when I think about switching colors, what I want. So it's not a real fast thing. Um, YouTube makes the videos, because I time lapse them, we, I can't, it's too much to upload. Uh, let's see, this is an eight by eight. This could be a six hour painting for me, because I take my time, figure things out. I've already let this dry for a while. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit.
Okay. As I mentioned, I'm going slow. I mixed a purple. It's just a, pr I love either the thalo blues and quinacridone just makes a very pretty purple. Um, and I'm just going slow. And so I'm thinking cooler colors. I had some browns over here. I might put some more browns back in, or I might put some more browns over here. But mostly I'm finding like the height of the grass. Like it goes off here. I might have it go off in another spot over here. It doesn't go off over here. That kind of stuff. I'm just kind of finding. And I'll start filling in more down here. It'll get solid. And I'm going to end up, I'm, I pretty much covered up. That, da that daisy, this daisy is getting covered. They're going to get covered up. I really shouldn't have drawn them first, but for some reason I just wanted to, needed to. It's kind of funny. I guess because I hadn't decided what kind of uh, painting I was going to do. If I was going to do a lot of tall grasses or have more landscape underneath it, that kind of thing. So once I decided I was going to do tall grasses, shouldn't have drawn the daisies. But it's, it's never wasted. I've already kind of figured some things out. Um, that's about it. I just want to pop in and let you know what's, what I'm up to. I'll be back in a bit. Just a couple of comments. I've been using this brush the whole time. Um, layers and more layers. I'm playing with color. I'm wondering if I want this darker. Um, I ended up with more sky than I thought I would because really this, that's a little piece of sky, but I don't know if it shows too much. And I don't know that it matters, but it's looking similar to <laughs> this painting I showed you. This one has more sky. I've got more holes, bigger holes down in here. Um, I just thought that was kind of funny. It's my handwriting. Part of that's my handwriting. Um, paintings, handwriting changes slowly over time, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I, I tend to, and I tend to think thirds, you know, so I have a darker area on this third. It's not really lighter over here on this third, but I try not to have it right in the middle. So I might lighten this up more this way. Okay, the main point I want to make is I just looked to see when I started videoing and it was 1246 and it's now a little after four o'clock and all I've gotten done this afternoon is sky and a bunch of grass. So I, I say I'm a slow painter. I don't, I will, I am getting faster the more I paint. I've been painting a lot since the pandemic, but I think it's, and it looks loose. Don't you think that looks loose? Hopefully it does. But anyway, so, I, but it's considered, like I'll put in a brush stroke and I'll put in another brush stroke. It's not like I just scribbled it all on, done in, you know, 15 minutes. And I think that's kind of important sometimes with YouTube and that I time lapse. Take your time, take as much time as you want. Um, realism does come with more time and smaller brushes and it, and it paying attention to detail, but you can, looseness also comes with considered, in my case, slow brush strokes. I hope that makes sense. I'm hoping that, like, don't feel like you have to rush is really the whole point. And <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I'm going to quit for today and I'll be back tomorrow.
hey friends, just a couple of comments. So I'm using this three quarter inch, let's measure it. It says a number 10 from CraftSmart, or three eighths inch, it's not quite a half inch. Three eighths inch brush. And it's kind of nice. Uh, sometimes I go up, you know, bigger in size to get a bigger petal. But really, see that's dry. I can set it down and squish it and I almost get, and maybe with two strokes, I almost get that big petal. I can't totally, because the paint squishes out beyond the brush. So I'm liking that. i am got warmer petals up here and cooler petals down here. I'm gonna add white. I won't add white, white. I might add little hints of white so the light's kind of dancing. Um, I'll kind of, pl I'll play it by ear. But like I'll add white and I need to add darker green for the, this is like you're looking up and under and on the back side of the petals on that one. I'll probably, there's a bud here. I'll probably put in that and make it stronger. I'm going to put in at least one little bee, maybe right here. And I've also, I think I'm going to hint at some more flowers, a couple more flowers, but I've kind of got a triangle shape. Now it's not perfect because that goes out, but you know, skinnier at the top, wider at the base. So that gives it a little stability and things are looking in. Actually, I probably should have, I've got them. That one's looking straight up, but these three look to the right and that one, or to the left, looks to the left and this one, this one, and this one looks to the right. At least that one looks that way. I probably should put in like a, another bud that goes this way and probably a bud that goes that way. So I don't know if I'll lose my triangle shape maybe, but that's, that's what I'm thinking. I think that covers it. Oh, I mixed a creamy brown for the warm petals and a blue gray for the blue petals. And then I mixed a little blue and my purple for a, a blue purple and put some of that in. And then I'm, I'm thinking, you know, these have a highlight and these are darker centers because they're going to be more in the shade. Okay. I think that covers it all. I'm a little worried about how dark the sky is, but that'll also help the petals pop forward. I can draw or I can wash off. It's not completely dry, but I can wash off some of my white charcoal pencil. I don't know if you can see that. Or I can, you could wait to the next day to wash that off or whatever you use. Pencil won't wash off. That's one of the reasons why I really like charcoal or chalk pastel. You can just wash it off. Okay, guys, I think that gets us up to speed. I'll be back in a bit. What do you guys think? It turned out really happy and bright and I put in more flowers than in the one I showed you a little bit ago. I put my iPad somewhere. Um, I have like a little hint of a flower there. You know, haven't pushed back. Actually, I could put, I have a grass going over that one. I could have grass going over that one. I just have a couple. There's one that goes over. This one goes over. This one goes over, but then under just, it kind of helps push them back a little bit. If you want to do that, I added a teeny little bee. It's just basically an oval, um, a yellow stripe, some thinned out white for the wings. 
I put in a little pink, just, <laughs> just cause. Oh, painted the sides. So the sides, I don't know if I can get it all in there here. It's pretty, just very simple. I didn't want to make it too busy so that when you look at it, the white, I didn't want to put white over here. I have in the past. I just didn't want to this time. Did the same on this side, just made it a little lower. Oh, and then I glazed a little yellow on top of the pink, which is fun. That's really fun. Did it on that one too. What else? Oh, here, maybe I'll screenshot and then we'll do a tour. how square that is. I'm on my tippy toes to see my phone. <laughs> I think I can't tell if the right side's in there. There we go. It's, you can tell it's mine. Everybody has their own handwriting. And mine ch it changes a little bit, just like, just like your personal handwriting. I like that I put in some purple for shadow. That's new for me for the daisies. And I think a little bit blue or blue. And then like spots of white, that's not new, but it's fun. Kind of catching the sun. And then the bottom's messy, but painted. Oh, and the top, a couple little pieces go over the top. Okay guys, let me know if you try this one. I will link, um, I might have a, a live video where I paint demoed petals or in a daisy live i know i've got a sunflower i can link that too that'll help you and i've got other videos where i stopped and demoed some petals um, it's really fun but you you just you can take a filbert too and you don't have to do it in one stroke but you can tell i just set it down at an angle there and pulled it or i might have pulled it this way and then this way and you can slow the time lapse down to see it a little bit better too this one just really makes me happy. It's very bright and cheery and very busy. A busy little bee in a busy garden type of situation. Thank you, thank you for hanging out with me. It's so fun for me. I hope you get something out of it too. I super appreciate your support. Great, big, happy art hugs. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.